The Meta Quest 3S drops on October 15th, and the big question is 128GB or 256GB? Don't worry, I've got the breakdown to help you choose the perfect model for your VR needs. Now this video is for those who don't want to shell out $500 for the OG Meta Quest 3, but still want to ensure they have enough space for all their VR adventures. Let's go! So first it's important to note that even though the Meta Quest 3S comes with either 128GB or 256GB of storage, you don't get to use it all as a system files take up a certain amount of space for the device to function how much space are you you ask well the answer to that is simply 17.83 gigabytes and this may fluctuate over time with updates let's just round it up to 18 gigabytes for simplicity this means the usable space on the 128 gigabyte version is 110 gigabytes and the usable space on the 256 gigabyte version is 238 gigabytes so how much of that storage would you actually use let's look at how big some popular games are to give you a better idea so the biggest game on the quest 2 right now is medal of honor which takes up a whopping 42 gigabyte that means you can fit approximately two and a half copies of the game on the 128 gigabyte version and approximately five and a half copies on the 256 however medal of honor is an outlier and most games are not that big for example hitman 3 vr is 26 gigabyte so you could fit about four copies of that on the 128 and approximately nine copies on the 256 Assassin's Creed Nexus is 16GB and Asgard's Wrath is 31GB. If you want to calculate how many times a specific game will fit on your device, just divide the game size by the available storage space. Quick math, so believe it or not, games on average are around 4GB. So if you were to fill your device with games of that size, you could fit 27.5 games onto the 128 and you could fit nearly 60 games onto the 256. I'm going to show you my own Quest 3 storage, which currently only has 13 gigabyte space remaining. So looking at it, you can see I've got some quite um, AAA titles in here. I've got about 20 games or so, some medium, some large, and a few applications as well. I've got 13 gigabytes of space left. I am currently at the point where I need to install and reinstall games the majority of the time, even if it's a few free smaller games, which is quite annoying. So you are some important considerations so if you intend on watching movies on your quest 3s at 1080p most movies are between 1 gigabyte and 3 gigabyte and if you're watching a 3d film they can range between 10 gigabyte and 25 gigabyte if you store a lot of movies your space could fill up very very quickly also as well you do have the ability to share your headset with another account. If you are sharing a headset with someone else and they want to install their own games, you'll need to share that storage space as well. Then is if you intend to mod games. So games like Blade and Sorcerer or Bone Lab have mods that can take up significant amounts of space. This is something to keep in mind if you plan on modding games. And also if you intend on using the headset just for PC VR, you will not need any space for PC VR as all the storage is done on the PC. So anyway, what's the verdict? So I would recommend the 256 gigabyte version because it gives you more flexibility. You won't have to worry so much about uninstalling and reinstalling games as often, if at all. And if you're into recording videos or modern games like Blade and Sorcery, you'll appreciate the extra storage. That being said, I would only get 120 gigabyte if you don't play many AAA games or don't mind uninstalling or reinstalling games occasionally. You don't plan on recording any videos. You won't be sharing a headset with somebody and you can't justify the extra cost for the 256 gigabyte and if you don't play very often or only intend on playing pc vr games the 128 gigabyte is the one for you